Hello again, this is Christopher Wallstein, also known as Dr. Sola, and today we are going to do a video on one of our Schneider products that we install for our customers. So this is the Schneider SW SW4048. Uh, 40 stands for 4 kilowatts, 48 stands for 48 volts, and this is what this beauty looks like. Um, well, why do we like them? Well, we've yet to blow one up. We've had very rarely had failures. We have a 97 to 98 percent up time rate with them. Um, as you can see, it's a very beautiful looking inverter. Uh, what we what I like is the fact that it comes with battery temperature sensors one, and it also comes with the ability for us to communicate with them either using an SCP or a com box, and then we could actually talk to them remotely from a distance using our handheld devices, just like we can on the Big Brother, the XW Plus. Here are battery terminals, here is your grounding log, and then these are your communication ports. Um, very simple, on the front there, are no, there is nothing, just display lights or what I call idiot lights that tell you what's going on, if it's charging, if you have AC in, if there's a fault, a blinking light, and then this has generator support, uh, very high, very high priced inverters tend to have generator support. What that does is it allows you to use your better pass my neighbor to power items it ordinarily would not power. And when the inverter is on, the inverter enabled uh, light comes on. To turn it on, you push this button. To turn it off, you push that button. If you have faults, to clear the fault, you push that button to reset the inverter. And like I said in my previous video, Schneider goes crazy with manuals. They have manuals in every language. They also come with a a mounting bracket finished in white that allows you to mount the inverter in the position that you want it mounted in. So once more this is our, um, a product review of our Schneider um, SW4048 and as you know everything we sell here is um, everything we sell in this country is 230 volts and um, it's well me and this and um, Anyway, this is it. Our charger is a 30 amp charger at 48 volts. It's a little on the small side relative to his big brother, which is 140 amps, but it's more than adequate to charge our batteries. So if you have any questions about either the XW Plus, which we, post, which we are posting today, or the SW4048, please feel free to ask. We'll be very happy to send you answers. Again, this is Christopher Wasanya, also known as Dr. Sola, coming to you from AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful but wait there is more so in order to talk to the inverters our xw plus and our sw we use um, what we call a system control panel this allows us to look and see what's going on we can change parameters what kind of parameters can we change charge current uh, AC voltage, we can change, change the time we want the inverter to come on. We could also program the inverter to ignore uh, NEPA based on certain conditions of PHCN and only use solar. And then if that, those conditions aren't met, it will switch back to PHCN. We could also program the inverter if we have an additional device to start a, an external generator and all that is programmed through here. However, in order for all these things to talk to each other, they need an address. So your charge controller is talking to it, your inverter is talking to it, your automatic generator start is talking to it, or any other accessories that Schneider provides is talking, you know, can talk to this. But in order for them to do that, there is an information highway. And here's your SCP. Um, Schneider has their system they call the Zambus, and that's that uh, protocol that allows um, the, uh, the attached devices to talk to each other. Um, we can connect this to the internet and once this is connected we can do magical things with them. Once this is connected to the internet and I have an IP address assigned, I can access, I could do everything I could do with the SCP from a tablet or a laptop. So I can start a generator, turn off a generator, I can turn a charge controller on, I could turn a charge controller off, I can enable the inverter, I could disable the inverter, I can do anything, I could also change parameters of each of the device that I can see through my com box. So Schneider has a good ecosystem where you can communicate with everything that you have. However, you have to pay to get them. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is Christopher Wassan, also known as Dr. Sola, coming to you from Lagos. Did you take my pen? The green one? Yes. I fell on the ground.